everybody. Welcome to the Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica and today's video is going to be all about our Christmas homeschool plans. In case you're new here, Christmas schooling, as we like to call it, has been something I have done with Emily as long as I can remember. I'm thinking about kindergarten. And what that means for our family is that we take from Thanksgiving until New Year's and we just do Christmas school. So typically that means setting all of our regular curriculum to the side and focusing on the holidays. I started doing this when I was in college full time and we had like finals school with Emily, all of the holiday stuff. And Kevin said, you seem really overwhelmed. Maybe you should take something off your plate. And obviously I couldn't change the dates of the holidays and I couldn't change college finals. So homeschool was the thing that we changed. And I thought we weren't doing school at all. At that time, we were just reading books and playing games and having fun baking and all that stuff. Um, but it turns out that Emily still learned a lot. And after that, I was like, that's it. I'm sold from now on from Thanksgiving till New Year's. We're not doing anything except Christmas schooling. This year, I wanted things to be a little bit simpler than years in the past. I didn't want to have a ton of stuff because as Emily gets older, I find that the conversations are the things that uh, we tend to learn the most through and enjoy the most. And so I really wanted to keep things sweet and kind of simple and make sure that I was leaving tons of room for her to explore and for us to have those deep, meaningful conversations. So our Advent things that we will be using are this eight tiny reindeer and Advent calendar adventure. Now this is actually a graphic novel. So this is something that I will be leaving out uh, for Emily to do each and every morning. It has, uh, I think it's just like two or three pages. You can see here, it says December 1st. And then there are, let's see, one, two, three pages before it gets to December 2nd. So she'll only be reading like three to four pages a day, but I'll just be leaving this out, strewing it for her, if you will, each and every day. And then as part of our morning basket this year, we will be doing the Advent Storybook We've done this one before. It's 25 Bible stories showing why Jesus came. It is probably the one we enjoy the most. It's the simplest. All I need is the book. Each day you just have one page reading here and then um, like a discussion question. So that is what we will be doing. Along with that, we are going to do an Advent Carol countdown. This book has 25 Christmas carols and the story behind them. So each day has the song along with the lyrics and then a little bit more kind of about the lyrics. Um, there's also a QR code you can scan to watch the musical performance. I am probably just going to ask our dot to play it um, because it's just easier. She sits right next to us where we do morning time. So I'll probably just say like, hey, can you play the song? We'll listen to it and then I'll read the story behind it. I also grabbed Emily these Minute Christmas Mysteries. We have had the regular um, short stories for young sleuths in our morning basket in the past. And so I thought picking up the Christmas edition would be fun. There are 15 of them, but I think I counted we'll actually only be doing uh, Christmas school for like three full weeks. So I think this is actually gonna end up being one each and every day. And then in addition to that, we grabbed Mad Libs in Spanish. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Um, Emily has been doing Duolingo Spanish for the past two years, maybe three. She's much better at it than I am. I just started doing it with her this past year because she just wanted somebody to, to do it with. Um, so we decided since we've done Mad Libs for years, why not make it a challenge and mix in some foreign language? I'm sure this is going to be a lot of me looking up words to see what they mean, but either way, it will be fun um, and we will be mixing in language arts and foreign language. And then the last Advent thing that I have that we will be doing like every day during our morning basket time is this 24 jigsaw puzzles. So there is a little window for each of the 24 days leading up to Christmas. Each puzzle is 50 pieces. Um, so Emily will pretty much get her 50 pieces out and do that while I'm reading aloud to her each and every day. 
The read alouds that we have chosen to do this year are Christmas Carol and the Defenders of Claws. Um, I'm going to read you the summary of this book because that's what sold Emily on it. She's the one who picked our read aloud this year. It says, uh, Carol really loves Christmas, the decorating, shopping, the Christmas sweaters, and music. She wishes it could be a year-round event. The only downside of the holiday is that she lives in Florida, not exactly the land of snow. Sound familiar? Uh, basically, she lives with her uncle who adopted her after her parents died or her father disappeared in her mother's death. Her uncle is a workaholic. On a magical December trip to New York City, Carol meets her destiny, Santa, the real man with the bag, at the top of the Rockefeller Center overlooking the tree. He explains that Carol is a descendant from a long line of defenders of Kloss, those who protect and serve Santa. Carol's dad was also a defender, and now Carol has been tapped to fulfill his legacy. So that is kind of the story behind this book. That's why Emily picked it. I don't expect us to finish the first one in enough time, but in case we do, I did go ahead and pick up the second book in the series, which is Christmas Carol and the Shimmering Elf. So that way, if we do finish the first one, we have the second one. And then in addition to those, another book we will be reading aloud is The Best Christmas Pageant Ever. Because I'm so excited that they released a movie to go along with it really, really excited. We've read this multiple times, but it's been a few years. So I thought it would be fun to do this again, but this is a short book. So we'll have this one read probably in a week. Um, so we'll have plenty of time to do our other read alouds. Now, the things that we'll be doing in addition to that are the best Christmas pageant ever novel study. We had so much fun with our Christmas Carol one last year that once I realized they were releasing a movie for this, it seemed like a no brainer to design the novel study to go along with it so that we could enjoy it as much as we enjoyed Christmas Carol last year. Um, and if you're reading the Christmas Carol and you need a novel study to go with it, I'll leave a link to it in the description. And then I had said I wanted a simple Christmas, which is what I did. I wanted a simple Christmas unit study. Um, I love all of the ones we've done in the past, but I just wanted something a little bit shorter and more simple. And so I created a 12 days of Christmas unit study, and it is exploring the traditional days of Christmas, um, traditional symbols of Christmas, spending 12 days discovering them. So it includes Christmas bells, candy canes, Christmas carols, Christmas trees, gingerbread, mistletoe, nutcracker, poinsettias, Star of Bethlehem, Santa Claus, stockings, wreaths. So things that we've, you know, grown to symbol and like associate with Christmas. And then for each of those 12 things, there is a picture book suggestion, but it's just a suggestion. So I don't even have to have anything extra because this is all I need. Um, there is also a video that corresponds with each one of them on YouTube. So you just scan the QR code and watch. Uh, there is notebook paging, notebook pages that she'll do. And then there is a coloring page as well as a video um, drawing tutorial, depending on the age of the child, which Emily will probably actually do both because she enjoys both of those things. And then there are extra enrichment ideas for like an activity, but they're not required. So it means that I can just pull this off the shelf, read the readings because I already wrote them. Um, where we will talk about the origin, the history, and how the symbol is made. And then have Emily color the coloring page, do the notebooking page, and do whatever the activity is. And I don't need extra things. Like I don't have to source stuff. I don't have to collect stuff. We can just pull this off the shelf and have a simple, meaningful Christmas where we're still learning about the history and the origin and how things are made. So I'm really excited about that. Um, because it will be simple. Now I told you that I think we're going to have three full weeks of Christmas schooling. And my plan is to do the 12 days of Christmas, four of those five days in the week. So that means we'll get through all 12, probably like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of week one, two, and three, which means that we will have a fifth day on that fifth day we will be doing a recipe from Santa's Tasty Trip around the world. Um, we have been working through this for years. I let Emily pick three to four each holiday season because the idea of baking all of them in one season is just not my idea of fun. I'm not a baker, not somebody who enjoys being in the kitchen a lot. Um, so 
I have spread this out over the years. If you too are like, that sounds like a nightmare. This is an amazing, super fun curriculum. We love it, but don't try to do all of it at one time. Maybe you just do one every other day or one a week, which is what we're going to do. I will let her pick whichever one she wants to learn more about. Um, we'll learn about the country. We'll learn about Santa's stop there, what he eats when he stops there. And then we will bake the recipe from that place. So she will choose those and we will do three out of Santa's tasty trip around the world. Obviously we will also be reading a lot of Christmas picture books. I already have them all here <laughs> filled in my basket and we'll be playing a lot of Christmas games as well. I will be sharing our, Chris our favorite Christmas picture books and games in the next coming four weeks, hopefully next week. So make sure you are subscribed and turn on the bell notification. The last thing that I have that we will be doing with Christmas school is our brand new Christmas discovery deck. Um, this is just going to be something that I strew when Emily needs something to do and I need five seconds to not be doing something with her. Um, maybe that's during breakfast, maybe that's while I'm cooking dinner, but this will just be a fun way for her to learn things like, why do we hang stockings at Christmas? How is Christmas celebrated in Germany? What are some of the world's coolest Christmas traditions? Um, why do we leave cookies for Santa? Who invented the ugly Christmas sweater? Who invented candy canes? Um, why do we give gifts on Christmas? So just kind of like some fun history, traditions, cultures, some around the world kinds of things. Just a good mixture of everything. And like I said, all of these videos are under 10 minutes. So it's just gonna be when I need to buy us 10 minutes of something. So that is it. That is our simple but meaningful Christmas school plans for this year. And now I would love to hear about your homeschool. Do you do Christmas school? And if so, what are your plans?